President Biden trying to flip the script on the self-proclaimed party of law and order. He slammed Republicans today while laying out his Safer America plan, as they've named it, in the swing state of Pennsylvania. The president called out lawmakers who he said claimed to back police but refused to condemn the Capitol insurrection. You're on the side of a mob or the side of the police. You can't be pro-law enforcement and pro-insurrection. You can't be a party of law and order and call the people who attacked the police on January 6th patriots. You can't do it. The speech today, as some Republican lawmakers and former President Trump are calling to defund the FBI. They're railing against the Bureau after agents got a warrant and searched Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate earlier this month. But President Biden forcefully defended the FBI, calling the attacks against it sickening. He also talked crime and violence, saying he's still fighting for new gun laws. I'm determined to ban assault weapons in this country. <laughs> determined. I did it once before, and I'll do it again. President Biden making that push today at an event with a slate of Democratic candidates. It comes, of course, a little more than two months before the 2022 midterm elections. A recent Pew Research poll shows gun policy and violent crime are two of the top four issues for registered voters. CBC senior White House correspondent Kayla Tausche now. Kayla, it felt very campaign rally with the president trying to draw contrast before the midterms. Well, Shep, it was a preview of sorts from President Biden for Democrats messaging ahead of November. And after campaigning on compromise, the commander in chief now seems to be putting much more distance between his party and the other side. Every single Republican member of Congress, every single one in this state, every single one voted against the support for law enforcement. They talk about how much they love it. They voted against the funding, flat out, flat out. Every Republican in the House, every Republican in the Senate, every single one. That backdrop is Pennsylvania's 8th district, or Cartwright country, as Mr. Biden put it, a reference to the Democratic congressman who's held his seat in a district Donald Trump won twice. Now for Democrats, it's a toss-up. Biden on Thursday will reprise his campaign platform in primetime, and on Monday he'll visit Pittsburgh alongside the state's Democratic candidates for Senate and for governor. With law enforcement top of mind for many moderate Democrats facing tight races, dozens of them wrote House Speaker Nancy Pelosi in June saying they continue to hear from constituents who are extremely concerned about the rising level of crime, asking congressional leaders to prioritize law enforcement funding. The White House has since outlined that Safer America plan, requesting more than $35 billion for federal, state, and local crime prevention efforts, a ban on assault weapons, and resources to clear courts' backlogs for pending cases. Now, there is no budget deal with just a month left in the government's financial year, but today President Biden was adamant he would not be seeking to defund the police or the FBI. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.